Remember I was saying yesterday we did a Twitter poll. Should cannabis be legalized in Ireland? If you did this Twitter poll five or ten years ago, you would never have got a response like this. You just wouldn't. 3,504 people voted. 86% of those who responded yesterday said that cannabis should be legalized in Ireland. 86%. 14% no. I mean, it was incredible, the response, really and truly. I wonder if it surprises people. Fiona, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Are you surprised at that? Say nearly 90% of people, 9 in 10 people said legalised cannabis? I'm not surprised at all. I mean, look at the money side of everything. $8 billion made in edible ca- cannabis in USA. $13 billion in the Lebanon. They cleared in the middle of uh, this epidemic. $13 billion. By what? By growing it legally and selling it, is it? By growing it. They, the Lebanon decided, okay, we're not making money here in farming anymore. We're not making money in, in such, such and such. Okay. So they decided to go to cannabis. They started growing it and they made 13 billion in one. But the, Leb- the Lebanese one. always grew cannabis, didn't they? Wasn't Lebanese hash legally, very famous? Legally, legally. Okay, okay. Um, and, and, and do you think that the 86% of three and a half thousand people who voted on that poll would be aware of other countries and, and that's the reason why they think it should be legalised to make I money? I think so now. I think so now. It's education. I think it all starts in education. We should start in school. You see, people are, young people are not educated on drugs. They're not educated on themselves, you know, on their own inner, inner selves. So they don't know what love feels like. They don't know what peace feels like. And then they go for drugs later on in life to, you know, to get out of things, get out of their minds, you know, if they've an issue. But on that basis alone, why should we legalise any drugs then if they end up as teenagers getting out of their mind? Of the hands of, why, why give it to other, other people who are not to deal to our children? Like the 70 kilos that came in through Ring of Skiddy the other day, is it? In the boot of a car. Yeah. Um, I, I, I thought it was 1.8 million, but no, seven, that was this morning. No, no, I'm talking about 70 kilo morning. weight. I'm talking about weight. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was 1.8 million, but um, in in Ring of Skiddy, and there was one in Dublin this morning. I think another million. Um, it it's been coming in. We know it's been coming in for years. If what the, what the epidemic has done, it has shown us how much they can catch when they're when they're not out in the streets picking up drunks from after a night out. Do you get me? Yeah, I know. So now the guards are able to concentrate on their real jobs. Um, and they, you know, they have human traffickers. They caught, you know, the, everything. What so would drug dealers? What would drug dealers move on to though if it was legalized? Have you given that any thought? Uh, they, I, I know what. It's all hand in hand. Everything is hand in hand. And to tell you the truth, why should we concern ourselves with what they're going to do? They'll always manage, love. They'll always manage. They're, people like that, they, they have minds. They have brilliant minds. They've absolutely fantastic minds, but they're not educated from the very start. It's well, our schools. Yeah. Um, w- one of the areas, of course, that many people talk about regarding cannabis is for pain management. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, yes. And uh, that's one of the... I was watching some of the texts come in on it over the past few days, and there's people who are using and smoking or taking cannabis in different forms to manage pain, whether it's chronic back pain, arthritic pain, issues like that. Um, yes. Uh, how, how often would you smoke? Um, me? I don't smoke, love. I don't smoke. I meditate for my peace. Oh, so you don't I, use I, cannabis. I, you just have an opinion no, on it, but are not oh, using yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. But I, I'm not saying I didn't. For a time of my life, I did, and it was fantastic. It got me... I no, no painkillers, no any of these things, and I've had major accidents, Neil. May, like, I drove off the side of a kiss. So I've had what? major... What? How did that happen? Um, I was getting away from three men who were attacking me, and I was Polish, and here in this country, the Blarney Guards, and I took the wrong road trying to escape, and I wow. went off a kiss. Anyway, back... Wow. Um, so education in school is the most important thing. And yes, kids go to drugs for pain relief, to feel happy, feel emotions, you know, heartache and all this to go away. Whereas if we meditate or even if they smoke cannabis, it decalcifies the penile gland, which is another really good thing. And why is everyone t- test, um, trusting a mixture of chemicals in the tablets to, to heal their body? Interesting text on this. Definitely. Prohibition doesn't work and leads to more organized crime. It allows kids mm. to access it easier because you don't need an ID to purchase from a dealer uh, okay. if it was legalized. Um, the tax revenue alone would be reason enough, let alone the amount of jobs it would create if we were cultivating and growing our own. The 
Gardaí then could focus on more crimes um, and and other crimes that go by the wayside in our country and our prisoners, our prisons would not be full of non-violent offenders. If alcohol is legal, so should be cannabis. Perfect. I think alcohol is the worst thing that we've ever taxed and brought into the world. I actually do believe that alcohol, if we don't train our kids even in school about alcohol, we don't train train our kids about money, we don't train our kids about sex, we don't train our kids about drugs, consciousness classes, yoga, health. We don't, we we start numbing their brains when they hit school at four. One final question for you and thank you for your input. What happens then if uh, people start on cannabis and then move on to ecstasy and opioids and prescription medication? Because I have spoken with people for years that have just done that. Mm -hmm. But is it, is it that the person that you're speaking to or the people that you're speaking to have major issues, Perhaps. major issues, and turning to drugs for a way out? No, some of them just wanted to be part of the gang and be cool. They came from really? lovely homes and they had no issues in their lives. They got fed up with cannabis or they had cannabis. Uh, actually, interestingly, a lot of them would have had drink at the same time and, and they, they say that that lowered their inhibitions as well and then moved on and experimented with other drugs. Yes, because I don't believe that, Neil. I actually, I believe those people who are saying that haven't actually sat and looked in the mirror. Why do they need to look in the mirror? Because it's not, but you don't turn to drink for um, happiness and joy. You turn to drink because you're either bullied into it or it's easier to go along with your friends or, you know, it, it, it's, it's those situations. If people actually sat and taught people what this does to the body, what this does to your soul, what um, what advantages are there with this if you do this in life? Mm. So why did you give it up then? Why did I give it up? Because I started started meditating, and meditation when you go to the bliss level that I can get to. You don't need anything to bring love into your life. <gasps> the feelings, I guess. I, I, I buzz off it 24-7. If I start in the morning like this, then I'm like this all day did long. Did you meditate this I morning? Did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Just before you rang. <laughs> Good for you. And it yeah. puts you in a happy place for the day. Oh, dear God, I have to do it. I have to do it because I have to be caring and I have to speak kind to most people every day. And I speak to a lot of people and I love it. I love helping people. But I do think that we, as a Cork now, just back to Cork, we seriously need an injection of cash. We seriously need, and this could do it like this, if people just woke up to the fact that it's not evil. It comes from the ground. God put it there, or the Palladians, or whoever you want to believe. They put it there for medicine. Nature is so smart. It put our medicine in our food. Thanks, Fiona. Lovely, lovely conversing with you this morning. Have a good day. (laughs) You too. Lee says, of course, it should be legalized. It's a natural herb that was put on the earth for a reason. Pharmaceutical companies would only lose out if it was legalized. Lisa says the tax revenue would make a big difference in our country. Catherine says, yes, it's meant to be a very beneficial for chronic medical conditions that I suffer with. Instead, I'm doing Dope up, doped up on opioid painkillers all of the time. Liliana says, yes, absolutely. It has huge benefits for patients with chronic pain, epilepsy and Parkinson's. I am sick to death of taking meds and epilepsy medication. Uh, back to the phone lines we go. Luke, morning. Good morning. Your thoughts, please. Go ahead. Um, just that by not legalizing it, we seem to be missing out on a large source of revenue, especially if you compare it to countries like the Netherlands, over in the States, like California. And I mean, it, it's it's already here. You know, it, it's already in the country. So why why waste this large source of revenue for but something? But then we should legalize harmless. cocaine and we should grow the poppy seed for heroin, surely, if it's all about I mean, revenue. I mean, well, I, I'd say there's much there's a much larger um, want for things like uh, weed than there is cocaine. But even in countries like Portugal, where these things are decriminalized, even as opposed to being legalized, you know, I mean, the fact of the matter is, the, like things like weed, especially, they're very accessible. They're already here, and they're for the most part harmless, as opposed to class A's like heroin and cocaine, yeah, which. Yeah can cause much more problems to the body. But something like weed, I mean, you're not going to overdose from smoking too much weed, most likely. I mean, no more so than you could buy a 13 euro bottle of vodka and be in serious trouble. Like, How would you be, be, for instance, driving machinery? 
you know, we have laws with regards to alcohol and machinery and cars and stuff like that. Um, does it does it have an effect? Well, I mean, personally, like I, I don't, I don't smoke weed at all. Now, I actually didn't enjoy my experience. I, I tried it once; it wasn't for me. But much, you know, I also drank a bottle of gin before, and it wasn't for me. I didn't like how I was drunk from gin. I from mean, a, you, you didn't drink a whole bottle of it, did you? No, no, but like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't smoke a kilo of weed either. Like, oh, you, you just know, didn't, had, okay, you didn't, yeah, neither, you neither little, liked the alcohol bit. nor the, yeah. No, yeah, okay. yeah, just, I just, I didn't love it, so I didn't do it again. But there are laws in place that prevent us from drink driving. There's a certain limit you can have in your body. Why not do the same with cannabis? Well, that's what I'm asking. Would it, like, if you, if you smoked, I don't know, but if you smoked too many joints, would you be liable to crash? I, I, I but just any more so than if you took anything that alters your state of mind. Too many code, too many codeine tablets. Correct. Yeah. Can't operate machinery yeah, like because it would slow down your reaction time. So yeah, yeah. In the, so one of the only things that would need to be worked out would be how you would uh, allow the legalization of cannabis and incorporate it into the laws of the country regarding driving. You know, going to work, being on top of your game. You know, pretty much. If yeah. you were if you were a surgeon in a theater kind of thing, you know what I mean. You wouldn't go in toked up like you wouldn't go in drunk exactly. you know yeah. I, I can't go to work after two or three pints like I, yeah. and I, I wouldn't either like because it would alter it might alter how I, how I perform in my job like so so a lot of people then are, you're amongst doctors, them you're coming back to this is a huge source of revenue for the state yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. good man alright appreciate that